Hello friends, we are up to reading number 26 of our 1001 tarot readings. This time is a three card reading, probably one of the most common three card readings, past, present, and future. Again, we are using the Mythos Tarot this week, so let's get into it. So what is the purpose of doing a three card past, present, future reading? In this case, it's, at least for me, how I am choosing to do this today. What do I need to leave in the past? That would be card number one. Card number two is what do I need to focus on in the present? And card number three, what should I plan for in the future? Again, being the Mythos Tarot, we have both the meaning of the traditional tarot cards, plus the deities who have been associated with each of these cards in the deck. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle up the whole deck, and we are going to see how this works. Okay, so card of what I need to leave in the past. Okay, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I can see why that would show up for me, for what I need to leave in the past. Okay, card number two, what I should be focusing on at present. Interesting. Okay. Uh, card number three, uh, what I can expect in the future. Okay. Interesting. So here's the thing. Okay. So first card is the Three of Swords, who in this deck is represented by uh, Eros, the god of love. Well, one kind of love. The Three of Swords is typically heartache. It is loss. So being paired with Eros is, is fitting. For my own part of this, as much as I like to tell myself I have gotten over certain past experiences, <laughs> they keep coming back in weird places when I least expect it. So it's... Learn the lesson that those relationships gave me, but don't keep reliving them. Uh, card number two for the present is the Hierophant, represented by Dionysus, which I think is an actually really interesting pairing of concepts, because the Hierophant is religious authority. It is divine right. It is the higher religious power in your life. Being paired with Dionysus, the god of revels and wine, is interesting. How I interpret that for myself is I have a bad habit of falling back into the very puritanical god is this aloof being who has who is far away and I can't interact with him other than in incredibly specific and limited ways. And typically when I'm struggling with things, where I'm like, oh no, I have this crisis, please come help me. But being paired with Dionysus, it's like, why am I not sharing my, my joys too? Why am I not just being like, hey, hey dad, hey god, hey divine, whichever word you want to use, whichever fits your, your ideology. Thank you, I'm, I'm really enjoying this thing you gave me in life. <laughs> Focusing on some of the, the enjoyment that I could be having. I think that is a very good reminder. Card number three for the future of what to expect. Prometheus, the hanged man. That could be a lot of things. Most simple, um, hanged man, it's up in the air. What I choose to do now will affect what happens in the future. Looking at the mythology of Prometheus... He gave the gift of fire to humanity, and then was punished for it by Zeus. And if you follow the, the mythos, is still being punished for it. But Zeus is a really capricious god. He's, he's a very jealous god. And Prometheus was very kind, despite the circumstances, despite the punishment. So I think that is look to the future of doing what is right, doing what is necessary 
even if the authority figures say that what you are doing is wrong. Live by your conscience, is what I'm getting from it. So, that's one way of doing a three-card past, present, future reading. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment, like, and if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.